The time has finally come to reap what we've sown, so let's go ahead and start the canola field up first. Uh, a bit of barley on the far side of the field still hasn't grown out yet, but we all did so at the same time, maybe it's because they do it in like half hour intervals or something and it's just worked out really weirdly, but apart from that, everything is going really well. This harvester just goes through it like a hot knife through butter. It's just absolutely brilliant. It's such a good investment and uh, we should be at around, ooh, I don't know, well, just with this canola field, I guess this will be about 50000 or so dollars. Maybe a bit less, but it'll be a fair amount. And I should also sell some other vehicles. Let's just see. These guys? Yes, I think I'll sell you. Yeah, actually, I think that's actually a pretty good idea. You know, better stop saying actually before we say it too much. And I do say it a bit weirdly. I do know, because of my Australian accent. But hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'm sure you are. That looks beautiful. Like, just the field looks so good. Just these little sections suck because of the solar. There's not much we can do about that now. There's a little bit that still needs to grow out. At least it's on the last stage though, so not to worry. So, our goal for this episode is going to be to get a new tractor. So I can go ahead and work like with all the tools that we have because if we need to work our cultivator and our sow at the same time and all that so we can have that and maybe I'll invest in another maybe in another sower in the really expensive one but I think I'll go ahead and buy field 17 before we do that so that might not even be this episode because a new tractor the one that I have my eye on I want to buy a decent one, not one of the ones that we currently have. So that'll cost about $130,000. So I think we'll only be able to go ahead and buy that this episode. Maybe we'll strike a bit of luck and we will get a good, great demand. Like two times the price of what it is normally. Any decent crop. And let's also sell the cedar. Fantastic. Now we're at $59,000. I could go ahead and do some missions. Probably would be a good use of my time to just to turn these missions on and just do the missions where we have to cut the grass. There's only 20%. So we'll get a fair amount done. Let's go to the tipper. Okay, so it's all the way over here. So actually, while all this is happening, we don't need the tipper right away. Uh, what I've been looking at is the tractors that's what we want tractors and uh, this is the best tractor that we have but it costs two hundred and seventy dollars in maintenance that is a ridiculous amount not even the one that I have my eye on which is the Dutes 430 costs that much I don't understand why this one costs so much it's such a waste of money I guess they want to want to give it to us just because I don't know, just because just to ruin our maintenance for every day but we're going to be going for the Dutes 430 Agritron TTV. I'm not exactly sure the difference between the normal one and the one with the care wheels apart from $2,000 and it just looks aesthetically a little bit different. I don't think it really provides any functionality difference so that's not a worry. We'll just go for the cheaper one then. So let's just go ahead and attach this guy to the tipper. Actually you know what? Because that guy is going to be seeding, or well, not seeding, but harvesting for quite a while, because he has lots of storage in his backside, we'll be able to go ahead and go to this farm. Let's check out the cost. Because there's some other, oh, sorry. There's some other really good fields, like field one near the port and the field near the inn. The field near the inn will definitely grow canola, and we'll just leave that canola for the rest of history, the rest of time, so we'll be able to just go back and forth between the inn and the field next to it. It's 111 grand, so just to remember that. Yeah, okay, let's do that mission. In the meantime, let's go cruise control three. And then let's start cutting, so we're at a decent pace. So you can make really good money if you do this really, really quickly. You get an extra three grand or so. Which is really, really nice. 
Imagine if we had that specific bar. That these missions would just go by so quickly. Oh, and another thing I should mention is while I was waiting for the the two fields to grow out, I made about ten thousand dollars because we were about forty thousand dollars, right? Now, now at the beginning of the episode, we we're about forty-seven. So about we made about seven thousand dollars just off that solar collector in the time it took to grow the two fields. It's pretty amazing how much this uh, collector is worth it. And I'm really happy that no one really complained about it because I was thinking that there'd be heaps of people complaining about it, telling me I should have invested in a harvester or a tractor or a grass cutting machine and an even better one or selling my tractors and all that shebang. That worked out rather well. It's just the chickens were a pretty dumb thing to buy. But Thankfully, they don't cost much to upkeep. So I'm just doing this mission just because we want to get that track to this episode. So I do try to do as many missions uh, as I can out of the episodes. Now, so we need to get you, attach you to the tipper. But you know what, let's just cheat a little bit. You bring them right in there. So I think what happens, there's a bit of shadow issues, but what happens when you have the potatoes and you want to drop them off, I think you just need to reverse into that hole in the garage, into which section you want to drop them off in, in the potatoes or the sugar beets, and uh, I think that's just the silo pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, there's no specific silo for them. I wonder how far that harvest has gone in terms of this tank filling it up at least. Because he's done a heck of a lot of this field. So I'm sure it'll be almost all done. Just check it out actually. Oh really? Only 50%. We'll be able to do this whole field then. That's pretty poor. So very poor effort. Ah, I'll tell you why, because I did not fertilize. Silly me. Silly me, I didn't fertilize. Well, at least we now know how much, like the difference between fertilizing and not fertilizing, because we use the slow, really old sower over here. That's why it's taking us so long. It's not really giving us that much of a yield, unfortunately. All right, so what we can do as well, let's go back to this guy. Go find the cultivator. If we stop crashing into things such as trees, it would be nice to be able to cut trees down, but we can't. So if you could cut trees down, then we could join these two fields up together, make just one massive, huge, gigantic field, which would be quite cool. But we can't really uh, just accept that mission, and I'll do that uh, while or after I do this. Touch that. Okay, it seems like you have enough traction on your wheels, which is also good. Okay, you can start cultivating this field. Add the worker. Back to here. You know what, I'll just put this tractor all the way over here. So when, when this harvester finishes, we'll be right where we need to be. I still have this plow. I will keep that plow because you don't really need a better plow and plows are always good just if we ever need to join fields up. It's always something good to have. And back over here we go. Oh, and there was a horseshoe in the, uh, one of the bunkers that we went over, supposedly in episode nine, I think it was. Although I'm not too, fussed about fighting all the horseshoes. There is some bonus that happens. I still haven't read anything about it. Um, what it does, there's supposedly some message that comes up saying that you'll be rewarded soon. So you don't get the reward immediately. And I don't think anyone's figured out what it is just yet, the reward. Plus it's 
kind of boring finding a hundred horseshoes. They do hunt quite well. Like they could be in any type of bush. It was like in that chicken pen, there was one in some bush there. So. And that was really hard to see. I accidentally just walked over it. That's how I got it. I'm not too fast about getting all of them. And I do promise this will be one of the last grass cutting missions I can do. I just want the money for the tractor. damn time so you're almost all done and that you see this should have been at least one harvester full unfortunately it wasn't so there's not much I can do about that right, let's just bring up this tipper just to his side bring the arm out. The arm out is so high that we can also invest in those really really big tippers which are only useful for really special machinery like this. Like the really advanced type of machinery. So what I'm going to do is once we drop all this off I'll probably go ahead and sell this canola actually just to make a little bit more money it'll be about it's not gonna be much. I should have remembered to harvest uh, not harvest but fertilize but I stopped thinking about fertilizing because we have that new saw I will use that new saw over here though so that'll be pretty quick smart we won't have to worry about that now let's get onto the barn I'll just do it like so so we get all of it not fussed about the overlap I'd rather make sure we get every little bit unlike that little bit that we missed over there here we go. That'll, that's okay so, where should we sell it to? I think, well, I'm pretty sure we should sell it at the inn. Let's just check. Yep, $2,400 is okay. For that. And by the time we'll be back, hopefully this harvester will be about almost full, at around 80%. So this is going to be a bit of a trick. But you got to do what you got to do. I'm sorry, it only costs $70 just to pay off your... Your... Interest? No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it says loan interest zero dollars, but it's seventy dollars that we have to pay every day. We've got two hundred thousand dollars to pay off, so seventy dollars a day isn't much at all. It's going to last us probably till the end of this let's play until we pay it off if we kept on doing it like that. So I think I'll just leave it. Like, there's no reason for me to pay it off. Oh yes, and many of you guys were complaining that I don't drive normally like a real person, so we'll drive at least a little bit realistically. You could also drive first person mode. Just make sure you have a new pair of pants on. I do drive like a bit of a lunatic, and the first ca person camera doesn't really do doesn't really help me out too much. Get rid of that PDA. Oh. Okay, so it'll be actually about ooh, around fifteen thousand dollars, so that's okay. Still haven't used the biogas at all. I've been looking at some videos of how to uh, use the biogas stuff. You've got to compact it, so you've got to drive over the silage that you left there, and oh, it's so technical. And this will cost. I can't remember actually. I could check right now, but I just want to go ahead and just get this done and go ahead and finish our mission for this episode which is to get a new tractor so then I'll be able to also use the sower at the same time as well as cultivating a field which is really really sweet uh, 
Um, you know what? Let's accept that mission. Uh, but firstly, we're gonna have to tell you guys to come back. Right, let's just do this then. Now, it's interesting because there's two different spots where you can do the missions, but so far we've well, this episode we've had three missions that are just here continuously. I'm not exactly sure if they're randomized or or how it works. Or if our tractors no, I don't think if our tractors automatically there they give us missions. I remember we do have to move a little bit sometimes. From one side of the golf course to the other side. Oh, we'll lag it up a bit. No, oh, no, that's not good. Computer's spewing up a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what is going on. Let me just go ahead and go to the main menu. That usually works. So you have to excuse my computer for spewing up on me in real time, but there's not much that we can do about that. Because we're recording and we're addicted and I don't want to quit. So we got exactly $10,000 of like that. No, it's over actually. Uh, how are you doing? Only 55% still. So you can do a couple more rows, which is good. Now this guy's done. We've got a fair amount of money as well. Right. So what I could do is tell a new tractor to go ahead and cultivate this now. But because we don't have any tractor, I can't. That's why it's important to invest in a new tractor right now. But firstly, what we need is just to go ahead and seed that field now. And also fertilize it. I'm not exactly sure what the hell is happening with my internet. Well, not internet. But my uh, lag. Oh god, this is not fun. Interesting. Anyway, we're back. Everything's good. So what I want is some canola. It just feels like cheating. Just being able to switch it doesn't feel right. Being able to switch seeds immediately like that. Okay, that should be more than good enough. Yep, seems about perfect. picture okay uh, yep we probably do need to get that tipper and go to the harvester and get all of his stuff out uh, actually what I should check out is do we have any more Kramers that I don't need no I don't think so no I probably should sell that pla uh, the cultivator though that would be a good idea so you know what Let's go ahead and do that. No, actually what I could do is tell you to stop giving me missions. Even though missions would help me out to get my tractor. But I definitely don't need this anymore. So yeah, we're pretty much just selling all the crap that we don't need. I'll keep that fertilizer. Just for the sake of keeping it because it does have a good range. And not all plant sowers or planters have the ability to fertilize when they're sowing. So yeah, you can put a cultivator out front like this and then you can put a sower behind you so you can just cut down the time immediately. But I'm not too keen on that because you do miss a lot of the area. The AI is the smartest and I think they just go off what's off the back. Just something to keep in mind. Now yeah, let's go ahead and sell this. Only five thousand dollars, really? That's pretty poor. All right, I'll bring you back. Oh, there we go. All our fields are done and ready to be used, which is fun. Oh, you're all done. Okay. Don't worry, I'm coming to save the day. And this is a fertilized field, so it's 
really efficient. You do get bonus points for plowing and then cultivating and then fertilizing, and but that's just too much of a hassle. But you only need to fertilize once. It's either with manure, a sprayer, or a fertilizer. They all do the same thing, so one is enough. They don't change the yield at all. Yeah, if I had a new tractor, uh, what I would do is just move that cultivator and tell him to do this and you'd be so much more time efficient. It's not even remotely funny. Once I go ahead and probably sell this barley, we'll have ooh, almost enough money. Once we get the tipper full. But actually, before we get the tipper full, that cedar might be done even. So everything's just going by so much more quicker, I could not be happier. Yeah, so this episode, our only goal is to get the new tractor. Probably the next one is to buy that new field, and then I'll go ahead and harvest a couple of times by myself, speed time up a little bit, and what we'll do is invest in potatoes then. I'm really excited to get potatoes, and after potatoes, we should be just swimming in money because potatoes are extremely dense even though they don't sell much per litre or ton or whatever measurement they used to sell yeah, per ton so then we'll go for some animals and everything should be pretty good after that it'll be pretty smooth it won't be as boring and as stagnating as it is right now or at least as it was previously so those missions just took forever and it takes so much time just to get started. How much have we been playing for actually? We go check statistics. Nine hours all up. So it took us about nine hours just to get this far in the game. But we've threshed a lot of area this session for 22 minutes. We've threshed a heck of a lot of area. We've sown a fair bit. We've driven a lot as well. We've used up a lot of fuel. Thankfully this vehicle is very fuel efficient, so we won't diminish our numbers too much. We've only found one Porsche as well. Well, we found two. You guys have found one for me. But we haven't picked it up yet. And this cedar is 6 meters. The next one is, I think, 150... Well, it's not, not 150 meters. $155,000, but it's 15 meters. If we go to... go the Amazon condor but see it only does weeds of barley canola or grass what I want is something that does either sugar beets or potatoes unfortunately you can't have one that does both so that does potatoes and there's one of them this one that does sugar beets so Amazon offers new technology enabling high operational speeds of 10 to 15 kilometers an hour also, thanks to additional technical innovations and more operational comfort, the setup times have been much reduced. So that's quite good. Six meters. It's really good. But that's the largest thing that you can sew your stuff in. Which really is unfortunate. You don't have any big machines to sew potatoes any faster. Very unfortunate. Because you've got sprayers, manure spreaders, you've got mowers, which... The game's lagging up on me again. That's no good. Right, uh, the Crone Big M. $350,000. will do everything for us. We've got some windrowers, which what they do is, say if you've got grass, and because there's so many different lines of grass, when you harvest the field, or you cut the grass, what this does is it organizes, say, about four different lines into one massive one, so it's a lot easier and more efficient to do yeah as you can see this has a massive width potatoes I think they do the same thing I actually don't know they dry grass out to hay these things are still on sale for 14 hours we've got our baling technology which we also start thinking about uh, this feeds our cows put the weights and some miscellaneous, miscellaneous uh, utensils, 
such as a mobile fuel tank, a mobile water tank, and a header trailer. Uh, this setup allows you to transport the cutters of your harvesters in an efficient manner that suits traffic conditions. Yeah, it would be interesting how you actually use that. But yeah, we still don't have enough money for a tractor, unfortunately. So, mm, I'm definitely looking forward to get to invest into a harvester for either potatoes or sugar beets. That'd be really good. The sugar beet tractor looks actually a fair bit different. How much do they cost? Five seventy dollars in a five hundred four hundred fifty six horsepower. Oh this has more horsepower. Okay. So you've got about two more lines to go, do you or anything? You should get out. Tipper and see. Okay, we'll go ahead and join you. So this tipper can actually have about three of the harvester fulls. Which is quite a bit. Set up to harvester speed. So yeah, with the windrowers, what I was talking about, you see, as you can see, there's lots of these lines of barley now. If that were grass, what we could do is get a windrow and then just get all those four into one line. If that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. The harvester's going a bit faster than our actual tipper because our tipper is, well, it's quite heavy now, so I guess the game doesn't take that into account. Because they're both driving it fairly straight. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and just deliver this load to the mill. To the mill it is. Okay, that guy's almost done. So I'll be able to go ahead and cultivate this field finally. Then we'll be able to go ahead and rinse and repeat and maybe even we'll be able to go ahead and harvest the next batch next episode. But firstly I want to go ahead and deliver this, see how much money we'll end up with and try to at least get a new harvest, no, new harvest but new tractor. And with that we'll be pretty much done. Still got lots of petrol in the tank as well, 55 litres. We're, we're driving all around this whole map with this car, this tractor. That's a that's nice, uh, nice feature as well. They have uh, rows of, well, a road, but they, on the sides of the road they have rows of like, these pine trees. Which is quite nice, quite scenic to go through. We should go ahead and go through there sooner or later. So there's also something similar on that side of the map as well. I'm tempted to just speed up time just to see if we can get a bit better price on Bali. But I think we're still still good. <laughs> Press the Q. It's unfortunate because Q and W are in the uh, right next to each other on the keyboard, so it's pretty easy to go ahead and press one or the other. I'm mistaken for each other. But before we go ahead and unload, I just want to see how we're doing with our seller. If I could go ahead and speed up time, just to see if we could get a better price. This guy's doing well. This guy's done fantastic. So let's just speed up time.
Let's see if we get anything better. Meanwhile, what I should be doing is go ahead and get this guy. Oh no, the price is going down. That's not good. I'll just wait another hour. Whilst they're making cheap and quick money from the solar collector now as well, because that works off game time. Let me go ahead and start your anything. I should go ahead and check out the theory uh, of the of that seed up being able to cultivate as well, supposedly. There we go. Oh, that's a fantastic price. 1407, that is what we waited for. Yes. And I think I'll only just be able to go ahead and buy a tractor, which is just this, no, I don't want sailors, I want this, and no, not own, sorry. Yes, $133,000. Go ahead and buy that. And hey, presto, we have a brand new, spanking new tractor. All right, at the end of the episode. So let's all be back at our home base. This guy's almost done. Look at him go. That's really good. It's actually really high. It's a behemoth of a thing. Look at the back wheels. The back wheel, the front wheels, sorry, is as big as the back wheels on that red tractor. But we'll go ahead and hook the red tractor up to this guy. I will get the Agritron to go ahead and actually do nothing right now. But then he can start working on sewing and all that other stuff that's necessary later on. Actually, we should get him to the start sewing. Just need to wait it out until that guy, the cultivator, does a little bit more of his work. Really? You're all filled up again? <sighs> Gonna be waiting quite a while for this guy to finish. As long as nothing dies again, because that would be rather embarrassing. I think we're all good if we check the growth stages. It's still light green. So, back to you. I don't think I'll need to be attaching any weights to his front side to balance everything out because he looks like a bit of a uh, tank himself. So I'll go ahead and get this seed up. And we'll do another field of barley. Actually, I think we do need a bit of wax. Really? Okay, that sucks. So, back to vehicle selection. Okay. Well, actually, you need to get out of the way. Now, where are the weights? Where there was something over here. There they are. Right. The seed is in the way. Yeah. I don't think that that little weight is going to make too much of a difference, but I hope every little bit counts. I think we're all good. Okay, so the cultivator missed a little bit, but that's okay. Go ahead and hire the worker. And look at that. So we've got three automated workers just working on here. That is just too perfect. They're just so much more efficient. We've got this guy waiting to be grown. That feels shouldn't take that long anyway because we, we sped up time at 120 times for a fair amount. 
Yeah. As soon as that guy's done cultivating, we'll be pretty much done seeding as well. And fertilizing at the same time. Now, how is this guy going? I think we need to do another trip around when Messi will. That's okay. Alright. So, what I'll do is we'll go ahead and finish harvesting this field. And I'll just. What we'll do is be, we'll be right back to pretty much where we were at the start of this episode with two fresh fields although the canola one will be fertilized as well so we'll be coming back with two fields one filled with barley and one filled with canola ready to harvest we'll go ahead and sell i'll go ahead and sell all the barley that i have and uh, i'll speed up time a little bit as well just to wait for the uh, harvest to grow so we'll have a fair amount of money and next episode what i'm going to be attempting to do is buy field 17 It'll probably be a little while yet before we start getting potatoes because I'll need to invest in... Well, I'll need to start selling a lot more things. So field 17 will probably be all canola. We'll speed up time a lot and uh, it should work out rather well with a heck of a lot of canola. It should be a couple of tipperfuls. So that'll give us lots and lots of money and uh, yeah, I think that'll bring in end to this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed like all the previous episodes and thanks for watching.